swale. Every living organism relies on ribosomes. Ribosomes are molecular machines that translate the genetic code into functional proteins. In fact, viruses are not considered living because they don't have ribosomes. That's why they infect your cells, to use your ribosomes. Ribosomes are important. In fact, there are a small proportion of our population who have severe diseases leading to bone marrow failure, immune dysfunction, and cancer because their ribosomes aren't working. These individuals have small variations in their genome leading to slight changes in how their ribosomes are formed. And in these cases, growth cannot happen at peak levels. Nevertheless, individuals with these diseases tend to develop cancer. And this is a paradox. A big question in the field is how can we possibly have uncontrolled growth, as we see in cancer, in a situation where cells can't grow well? I use bioinformatics tools and molecular uh, analyses in the lab to investigate the molecular underpinnings of a particular disease called Schwachmann-Diamond syndrome. My hope is to understand how do ribosomes not work in Schwachmann, and in doing so, answer questions about how ribosomes work in general, how they can translate cancer, and how we can support families suffering from these diseases. Understanding rare diseases can help us understand common diseases. If you'd like to talk more about how to get involved, come find me.